This city is not only resilient, but its best days are ahead. Now at 11, transforming downtown Indianapolis. Several skyline changing developments got the green light this year, and some are already under construction. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Griffin. Towering hotels and a soccer stadium will make up the future downtown skyline. WRTV's Tosh Simmons explains why this year brought back optimism for downtown. Downtown Indy skyline symbolizes Indiana's cultural and economic power and it's growing right now. You're on the ground floor of the next great place to be. Indy-based urban planner Jeffrey Tompkins believes in downtown so much, he mapped out what the skyline could look like in a few years. The blocks in green are buildings already under construction. Indianapolis is where Nashville was, or Austin was in the 90s. We're right on the tip of that iceberg. This was the year of the mega project. All of these mega project milestones happened in 2023. A plan to finally revive Old City Hall with a 32-story hotel and condo tower next door. Construction on the former Pan Am Plaza for a 40-story hotel and convention center expansion. Demolition in preparation for the Indy 11's 20,000-seat soccer stadium. And most recently, the sale and future transformation of Circle Center Mall. There's going to be more walkways and some greenery and stuff too, so I'm excited to see that come to life. And they're planning to build, you know, a few more skyscrapers, a few more hotels. Uh, we need that. We, we absolutely need that. We need the money. Okay. <laughs> These projects will likely attract more tourists and their money once they're done. But more importantly, they could revive Indy's pride in downtown after some hard years. Especially after COVID, it, it's not only surreal, but it's, it's really refreshing. Here's another refreshing sign. This Taco Bell Cantina will open this weekend in the downtown restaurant space that has sat empty since 2020. The big projects may not have cranes in the sky yet, but 2023 laid the foundation for a powerful rebound. To see this amount of investment in downtown is reassuring not only to retailers and, and denizens of downtown, but also people from around the state that view downtown as this abstract, dangerous place. It is not. In downtown Indy, Taj Simmons, WRTV. All of these projects are still a ways from being finished. The soccer stadium is set to open in 2025. The hotels will likely open in 2026. And the first phase of the new Circle Center Mall will not be unveiled until 2028.